man will update from the beginning eh uh, say Kwesi Prat aba abekasa na Kwesi Prat in some of the abeka ne de eh eh o stu tiem ya na o ka se onu pa de could the turn is in any one one? In fact, before the year we even begin, you know, not only say certain countries be war, could the tab be see Baku in Niger, a Baku in Cote d'Ivoire, a Baku in Guinea. In fact, or yen statistics being a friend is a journalist and an editorial and editor in chief and also a big time media person from all these years now was steady cool. He knows how and when it happens. It's no, 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 one of, in fact, as I'm a quack, you're 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 a quack, a year, Ali Bongo, a president, you see, in if you are there's any share or on a president from 2009 till now, uh, military in a taking action in some the buy and now, yeah, military taking over identity house arrest. No, or your video saying, I'm command and I don't know for the input. Yes, I will be nearby. You go and listen to what a year, uh, in your bear, my Chrissy Pratt, or do to draw up both countries be such a now more than movies a day. Countries, no, uh, a year could it turn a cup four more countries, mm, four more counties, four more countries, no, make up four more. <laughs> <laughs> We can form my name also. We say, eh, eh, but video now already. I'm going to my papa. I'll pack a cup of water. Charles said, "Only be being found." I'm Ali Bongo, on Dimba, president of Gabon, and I'm to send a message to all the friends that we have all over the world to tell them to make noise, to make noise, for the people here have arrested me, and my family, my son is somewhere. My wife is is in another place, and I'm at the residence. Right now, I'm at the residence, and nothing happening. Nothing is happening. I don't know what what's going on. So I'm calling you to make the noise, to make noise, to make noise. Really, I'm I'm thanking you. Thank you. I'm Ali Bongo, on Jimba, president of Gabon. Okay, into uh, Senator Watson, or say, uh, Ali Bongo, uh, president of Gabon. Now, military unit taking over, you could see people chanting, yeah, yeah, they may be can catch us, like we see Pratt at the same year, but to that, uh, Obina Tonyum, a Tavia, Jim Cartoy, in Carton, no man, or see four more good details, ABC or Africa. Now, what is shocking is that four more countries, you no, know, yes, you know, you know, or say, Ombodin. So the big question is, could it turn on? You know, say BSC or around Ghana near the other day. But the big question is, could it part? Is Ghana part of it? Is Ghana part of it? You know, things are more difficult to ever trust. Between the French government and the Nigerian authorities, if you read the situation in Niger very carefully, it does appear. That the United States of America has completely outsmarted France. What has the U.S. done? The U.S. in the midst of all these crises has appointed a new ambassador to Niger and has actually begun talks with Niger. This is a de facto recognition of the government in Niger, you know. And that will show that the U.S. has completely outmaneuvered France, you know, in Niger. Of course, it's to be understood. As we all do know, the U.S. has the largest drone base, the second largest drone base in the world, stationed in Niger. So it has an interest there, or claims to have an interest there. Again, Niger has huge quantities of uranium which all the so-called major powers are interested in. And the U.S. maneuver, in spite of its leadership of NATO and France's membership of NATO, 
It's very interesting. It must be studied by all those who want to understand international relations. That even <coughs> countries like the United States and France could have divergent interests in a country. That's for Gabon. I mean, who was not expecting a coup d'etat in Gabon? I don't know of one person who was not expecting a coup d'etat in Gabon. As a matter of fact, if you look at the measures which were instituted by the government of Ali Bongo, you know, in the run-up to the elections and after the elections, they all point to panic, severe panic. And of course, I was expecting a coup d'etat in Gabon. I'm still expecting coup d'etats in four more countries. Four more? Four more countries. I think the four more countries are going to fall uh, very, very soon. Possibly before the end of the year, we should expect about two or three countries to fall. And four more countries are likely to fall in Africa, you know, to coup regimes. But hey, everybody was expecting this coup d'etat in Gabon for many reasons. I mean, one family has been in power for 53 long years. And that family has not been in power for 53 long years because it was loved by the people of Gabon. That family has been in power for 53 years because it imposed itself on the people, rigged elections, harassed opposition leaders, banned political parties, arrested trade union leaders and so on. That's how it managed to sustain itself in power over the 53 years. And there's a point to which people say that they would not allow you to go any further. And Gabon has <coughs> reached that point, you know. So I'm not surprised at all. I don't think that this coup attempt is going to fail. I don't think it's going to fail. There are signs that it's a very popular coup. If you go on the net, and I've been on the net this morning, the signs are that it's a very, very popular coup d'etat. Now, in analyzing this coup d'etat in Gabon, I think there are a number of things that we should do. We should try and identify what is universal to all the coups. Mm -hmm. And then also look at the specifics. They, they all do not come about by the same factors. There's a the general universal things that affect all the countries and which instigate the coup d'etat, like the behavior of governments, governments which are not accountable, governments which want to stay in power by all means possible, governments which subvert the national constitution and so on. Those are universal. You can find that in, in, in Burkina Faso, you can find that in Mali, you can find that in Guinea, Niger, and also in Gabon. But there are also specifics, things which are unique to the different countries. Now, if we take Burkina Faso, Mali, Niger, and Guinea, there's something which is specific to those four countries, and that is the Islamic insurgency. And we don't have that situation in, in Gabon. So that's an added, an added factor, you know, to the misbehavior of governments across the sub-region. Now, the coup in Gabon and other coups likely to follow will make this West African leaders, you know, threat to invade Niger look even more reckless and unrealistic. Look, <laughs> this phenomena is, 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 is going to spread. Hmm? Now, if we decide to go and fight in Niger, where will the fighting stop? Are we going to plunge the whole of the sub-region into war? And if we are going to plunge the whole of the sub-region into war, when is it going to end? So then you can see, sir, a year, Kwesi Pratt, in all he's saying, or patches, that this is a wake-up call to African leaders. And Kofo, a comedian Kofo, uh, you guys are power hungry. The Biyan Pesa Mowo are at the realm of leadership. Mungkwa Namudi, Mubushu Afonkwa Nidi. And it's not going to happen anymore. People are wising up. The military is taking over. And it's a trend. And unfortunately, a very popular trend. Because the military everywhere feels like they have to take power and reshape 
the country or the continent. We've seen that in Burkina Faso. We've seen that in Cote d'Ivoire. We've seen that in Niger. We've seen that in 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 in, in Mali. We've seen that in 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 Guinea. We are now seeing that in Gabon and even more countries to follow. Let us know what you think in the comment section uh, about all of these issues at Elkoso. Thank you.